Hey, what's going on there guys? PK here. Welcome back. So I'm on the Oregon coast on the beach. Gonna try to do some surf fishing, but mainly um, not really, you know, don't really care if I catch anything today. Uh, the reason I came out today is to test out this uh, Santam uh, fishing rod. This is uh, Santam's surf rod. It is a 10 foot two piece and uh, Jay Kendrick, thank you for uh, giving me this rod to test out. And this is the rod I'm giving out as one of the raffle uh, prizes at my surf fishing tournament this Saturday the 26th. And uh, before I give it out, I thought I'd come out here and test it out, just see how it handles. Um, so yeah, it is rated for uh, three ounce, so it's, uh, it's, uh, can handle a pretty good amount of lead. Um, usually I use a two ounce, but um, I know like some people they like to use like a heavier weight, like a three ounce. Um, so this rod can definitely handle three ounce, okay? So um, for my bait to test this out, I have a uh, sabiki rig, herring jig, right here. I have there are six hooks on there. And here in Oregon, you can use uh, herring jigs to catch surf perch, okay? So um, I didn't really plan on coming out today. I got up about, you know, 5.30 a.m. I figured, you know, let's test out this rod before I give it out, okay? So let's do a couple casts, see how it handles, and then um, it's gonna be a short video, okay? Let's do it. I'm at Mulak Beach, guys. And I haven't been here in about maybe a year. So it has really changed. And it just goes to show you that every beach on the coast changes over time because of weathering, big storms come through during the winter, and it just changed the entire landscape. I know a lot of uh, people come here to fish. The Facebook group, Surf Perch Club, they come here a lot just by looking at their videos. I don't really know what the surf is for today. Uh, I just kind of randomly decided to come today without checking the surf. But anyways, let's do it. First cast, there we go. Feels really good. No problem handling that uh, two ounce. Surf's a little rough today. This 10 foot handle's pretty nice. I hope I can catch one and uh, just kind of see how it feels like to get a fish on. Yeah, that surf is definitely rougher than usual. We're not gonna go too deep today. Come on, red tail, help me out. No takers. No takers. All right, here we go. Second cast. Let's do it. The rod has a shorter butt. I know most surf rod, they tend to uh, have a longer butt, which kind of Feels like it's gonna jab you in the stomach every time you cast, but not this rod. It's got a it's got a shorter butt. Pretty nice day today on the coast. We got a little fog rolling in. About 55 degrees right now, I believe. Woo, that serves a little rough. A little rough today. There we go. Third cast. Come on, red tail. I'll even take a silver, I don't really care. I just want to catch something. Okay, nothing guys. Nothing at all. I don't know if the tide's going out or coming in. I didn't check. There we go, there's another cast. Hopefully, that's the cast. Hopefully that's, that cast is gonna get him. Come on. I'm not gonna be here very long. It's just about another 15, 20 minutes and we'll call it. Again, today, it's just, I just wanna test out this rod. Oh, is that a hit? 
No? I thought I felt the tug. I mean, the uh, herring jig is pretty small. It's really small. I think the hook size is about a size 10 or a size 12. So even the small, uh, even the small silver perch can get them. Because the silver perch, they got a real small now. Oh man, where are they? Holy smokes. Come on, buddies. Even a small silver. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Woo! Finally, guys. Fish on. Wait, did it is, it, is that a fish? Yeah, I think that's a fish. Oh yeah, not skunked. Well, I gotta pull him in first. Let's see what he is. Oh, I feel the head shake. Let's walk back, try to land him. This rod is broken in, guys. On the sabiki rig. Woo, hot dog. Okay, let's bring in this fish, see what he is. Silver, I bet. Looks like a silver. It's a little tiny one. No, it's a baby red tail. <laughs> oh, what a whopper. Woo, look at that. Big old whopper. Oh, there we go, guys. Little baby red tail on the sabiki rig. Santam 10 foot surf rod. There we go. Look at that, that tiny, tiny hook. Like a size, I think that's a size 12 hook. So really small herring jig. But, oh man, there we go, not skunked. Let's put him back. So this rod is broken in, guys. Awesome, very cool. Yeah, let's put the fish back. Okay, hold on there, buddy. We're gonna put you back, don't worry. These fish are wild, so they can be out of the water for a little bit, and they'll live. They're uh, pretty strong. When you guys are releasing these fish, you want to make sure they, you know, at least like 11 to 12 inch of water. Okay, there she goes. Oh, look at that. He's, he's fast. He'll make it. Pretty awesome. Not skunked. Rod's broken in. Mission accomplished. Really awesome. Let's try to get another one, huh? That was a baby, but hey, they're fun. They're really fun to catch. Okay, there we go. So I had to walk a little far to, to find that guy. When I came down from that trail, I started fishing right away. Um, there's nothing there, so I moved a little bit. And usually that's how, that's how it is with these guys. Okay, come on. That might be the last cast. Oh. Oh, I thought I had a hit. Is that a hit? Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, I missed it. They, oh, no, still got it. Still got it. Woo! Hey, not bad. Yeah, I was expecting to maybe only get one or none today, but what a surprise. Here we go. Another fish, guys. Feels a little better than the last one. It could be like two small double, too. Just walking backward, trying to pull him in. He's way, <laughs> he's way out there. I'm just slowly reeling him in because I don't want to break the, rip his lips off. Now these lips, I'm sorry, these hooks, they're really small. Like I said, they're about a size 12, which means these fish are going to be pretty small. Where's he at? There we go. There we go. It's like the same one. It's like the same one. There we go. Exact same one. <laughs> oh, I think I foul hooked it, guys. I think I foul hooked it. Okay, there we go, guys. There we go. Fish number two. I foul hooked this one. Okay. Let's get you out of there. Don't, don't struggle. Don't fight. Don't fight. If you flop around, it's gonna get worse. Hey, hey, come on. Come on, easy. Carefully get you out. Okay, got it. Nice. 
Got him out of there. There we go, number two. Small, fun to catch. So, this Sabiki rig works really awesome. Like I said, you can use a herring jig to catch red tail surf perch. It is legal here in Oregon. Even though you are allowed a maximum of three hooks, um, Sabiki rigs are, are legal for surf perch. So let's hurry and put him back. We'll do another cast. Okay, water's deep enough. That's a pretty small fish. There you go, buddy. There he goes. Boom. He's gone. He is gone. Let's try another one. Let's try another cast. Oh, it's got quiet. Come on, guys. Nope, no takers. All right. Maybe that school left. Maybe they left. All right, if nothing, you bring it back really fast. And this is why I like a uh, reel with a really high gear ratio, because sometimes I reel it in really fast and I need that I need that fast ratio so I can bring it in faster or make the next cast. It kind of reduces your downtime. This uh, tip of the rod is pretty sensitive. You can definitely feel the bite. The line I'm using, I'm using, uh, the line I'm using is 30 pound braid. It's a moss green Power Pro braid line. It kind of disappeared. Where are you guys? Let's go. All right. Okay. There we go. This might be the last one. Oh, snag right there. Oh no, I got it loose. Got it loose. Oh man, it is rocky out there. A lot of structure. Oh, snag, are you serious? I got a snag? Oh man, out in the surf? Wow. Huh. Weird. That was weird. Did I lose my, oh, I think I lost, oh, I lost my weight. Wait, did it break off? Oh man. It broke off. Look at that. Broke everything off. Look, geez. Two. Yeah. What's that? No, I let it, I let it go. He was really small. What did you catch? It's a red tail surf perch. Oh. What, is it both of those the same? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, you too. Okay, guys. Big pile of kelp. We're done. We are out of here. We are out of here. But, yeah. This rod works really good. Let's go over here and uh, talk about it a little bit. So, well, I hope you guys can see me. But anyways, this rod works really, really nice. I love it. Uh, 10 foot, once again, 10 foot, two piece. And I like the eye. It's a double foot and it's the whole length of the rod. So, and the eyes are pretty big throughout the whole length. So, if you use a double uni knot like me, um, it's going to go through the guides really easy. Um, cast a country mile, very, very sensitive. Um, good rod. And like I said, it can handle three ounce, no problem. Uh, but I broke off. I guess I snagged up on a rock and my Sabiki rig broke off in half. Okay, so with that, We'll call it a day. 
Uh, thank you again, Jay Kendrick, for giving me the rod to test out. And again, I will. This is going to be on the raffle drawing at the tournament on the 26th. Okay. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Uh, hopefully at the tournament. Have fun fishing, guys. Tight lines.